Every once in a while, the world of combat sports is graced with an event so spectacular in nature that you know it's not only going to live up to expectations, but possibly exceed them. What would happen if perhaps the greatest mixed martial artist of all time fought the most ferocious Muay Thai fighter of his era, alternating rounds between Muay Thai and MMA rules? This question would be answered in full when living legend Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson faced off against the Muay Thai phenom Rod Tang Jit Myung Nam. The two would put their skills to the ultimate test at one championship's first ever special rules super fight. DJ has one of the most prestigious careers in MMA. It would be fascinating to see how he fared against one of Muay Thai's best strikers when most of his grappling tools were taken away. And if he survived the first round, then how would Rod Tang fare against one of the best submission artists in history? Even beyond the unfamiliarity of the situation, the style of each man was as poorly suited for the other's sport as it was ideal for their own. Rod Tang is a walking stick of dynamite, and punching him in the face only seems to make him stronger. However, there's a method to his madness. It all stems from his stance, feet close together, hips forward and leaning back with a mid to high guard. With his weight back, he can quickly check, pull or lead leg kick to close the distance. Also, his weight is preloaded to throw hard punches and more than the vast, vast majority of high level TIE fighters, Rod Tang loves throwing hard punching combinations. However, all of these style attributes, designed to quickly adjust balance to strike as efficiently as possible, would leave Rod Tang completely unstable against any basic takedowns. Johnson has always preferred to use high-level footwork to set up short striking exchanges that blend well into takedowns. He constantly switches between orthodox and southpaw, using V-steps, C-steps, and lateral shuffles. This way he could play with angles, align his power side to their open side, exit offline, and drive in all kinds of takedowns from either side. But without the threat of takedowns, Johnson's lateral footwork could become more of a liability, opening him up to leg kicks. And while Johnson is one of the best ever at chaining grappling and striking techniques together, a lot of that depends on his deep head movement threatening takedowns. Once again, this could become more of a liability during the Muay Thai rounds. The night arrived, and it was time to see how it all played out. The two each entered in their own way, each seemingly relaxed and excited, no stranger to the spectacle, and full of confidence built off a lifetime of triumph. After all of the theatrics, it was time. Right away, Rod Tang went to work. DJ looked to dart side to side off of Rod Tang's towels, keeping space to maneuver. But Rod Tang cut off the ring immediately with dynamic but efficient footwork, using diagonals to trap Johnson and unload a barrage of targeted missiles. The Iron Man's pure ferocity swept aside Mighty Mouse's long guard, throwing him off balance so bad he took a follow-up shot to the temple. But DJ quickly locked in a double underhook and tilted Rod Tang off balance then changed angles to set down into a beautifully timed knee. The ref broke them, and each man continued his attempts to make the other unconscious. But now it was the mouse who looked to set traps, fading back until Rod Tang engaged and then rebounding back to counter. Johnson's plan seemed to be to counter Rod Tang's long, terrifying lead hook by slipping inside with an overhand right a solid strategy that paid off almost immediately. But right after, DJ's deeply ingrained wrestling tactics cost him his balance and position, getting him into a clinching war with one of the world's best Muay Thai fighters. However, this was not the Iron Man speciality, and Johnson is a hard-working freak of nature, and actually managed to drive Rod Tang down with the collar tie towards a hard rear knee. Rod Tang immediately countered with the sweep. Miraculously, DJ just barely kept his footing, then turned with Rod Tang's hook and faded back. Despite the differences in backgrounds, it was now clear that this would be no easy task for the human tank known as Rod Tang. 
But the Iron Man was an equal mix of crazy and clever, and he could throw clean and sharp when he needed to. He tightened up his shots and picked his moments, only throwing with force when DJ was trapped in a vulnerable position. The champion was now exemplifying the true spirit of Muay Thai, displaying the ability to calmly walk through strikes using the least amount of force possible, keeping balanced and maintaining posture so that he could evade any counters with minimal movement and step back in to return the favor immediately. The sweeping head movement and deep angled steps that worked so well when pairing wrestling with striking were now to Demetrius' detriment. Rather than stand in exchange, Johnson clinched to turn himself off the cage and angled in another tight knee. But Rod Tang reminded him of what kind of fighter he was dealing with, throwing him so hard that the ref had to frantically step out of the way. While DJ's plan may have been to one-shot and evade during the Muay Thai rounds, now all that went out the window. DJ squared up and threw down. Rod Tang almost casually cover blocked his head kick, then returned across off the same arm. Johnson was weaving before his foot came down. The two both threw on the next beat, both missing. DJ tried a hard left hook, throwing with bad intentions. But Rod Tang countered with the chopping rear leg kick. Rod Tang wasn't done, but Johnson's nuanced high guard deflected his punches. The two both threw power shots again, both missing again. Then DJ implemented the close range head movement that comes naturally to wrestlers to move deep inside, lining up his right. It was too wide, but his forearm still slammed into Rod Tang's nose. A follow-up left hit cleaner, but Rod Tang was already framing off DJ's head, wedging his arms inside to throw tight elbows. Now it was a clinching war, the two jostling for position, attempting to throw the other off balance and clear space to land hard knees to the ribs and stomach. Rod Tang came out on top, landing the harder blows and smothering DJ's attempts by turning and tucking his hips. The ref separated the two warriors, and now there was only one minute left. Rod Tang had to do something fast, or most likely end up on his back in the next round. He didn't need any encouragement. He unloaded a lead body head to rear hook combo and caught DJ with his best punch yet. He then drowned him in the clinch. until DJ turned the tables, putting his years of experience utilizing the cage to good use. After the break, there was only 30 seconds left. Rod Tang felt the urgency and moved in close. DJ capitalized on his haste, pulling down his guarding hand and landing the same counter overhand inside his lead hook. True to his reputation, the Muay Thai champion seemed not to even notice it and kept firing, but DJ tied him up and disengaged with a parting knee for good measure. Now the seconds tick down, Johnson evading while still picking his moments to attack. Rod Tang managed one more powerful leg kick before the bell sounded the end of the round. The two actually high-fived, no doubt both impressed with the craftsmanship the other put into their work. But the fight wasn't over. And now, it was Johnson's turn. Rod Tang was now the matador, and DJ the bull. Interestingly, Rod Tang decided to change his stance to suit the occasion. He employed a long, narrow stance to circle the ring, changing directions and nipping at Johnson's legs with non-committal roundhouses. This was a decent plan, and it was working. Then one minute in, DJ uncorked one of his first fully committed strikes of the round. And despite how well his strategy was paying off, Rod Tang just couldn't help but be Rod Tang. He threw back a tremendous lead hook. DJ ducked under, and from his position, his biggest problem was that he just had too many good options. Rod Tang tried to stand, but DJ hooked one leg and posted on the cage with the other. To make the situation even more unpleasant, Rod Tang had to manage one-handed or risk Johnson wrapping an arm around his neck. The situation couldn't get any worse, but then it got worse. Rod Tang tried to buck DJ off and the two rolled to the mat. There was still half the round left and Rod Tang locked down one of Johnson's arms and held on for dear life. 
but DJ managed to yank himself free only moments later, then got his other leg over. It's hard to overstate just how bad a situation this was for Rod Tang. He fought on, managing to remove DJ's top hand. But it was short-lived, and Mighty Mouse squeezed the rear naked choke in deeper and deeper until all went black for the Iron Man. Johnson threw his celebration kicks, as is tradition, and when Rod Tang woke from his involuntary nap, the two showed each other respect. How dare you me that hard, yeah? When all was said and done, it had been a specialty event that was actually worth seeing, and a great display of skill from two of the most skillful fighters today. They're actually both fighting on the same card at 1 Fight Night 10 on May 5th, and if you want to see these two masters practice their respective crafts, I've left a link to that event in the description. If you'd like to learn more, you could check out my books on power, defense, and footwork. Link below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.